Welcome to the Big Movie Mouth Off, sponsored by Dr. Volt's Comic Connection. I'm Jeff Weiss with the Deseret News. And I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. We're here today at Groovy Cinema Pub to review more movies. Our next movie is The Last Exorcism, a sort of Blair Witch Project involving demonic possession, and wow, that it may be the least original film I've seen in many a year. Now, you know what's funny about this? About halfway through this film, I was enjoying it. The problem is that I was enjoying it for the wrong reasons, because it's hilarious. And, but I think they were going for that. I, you know, I've heard people say different things. That they like it was unintentional. I think it was intentional. They wanted it to be funny. Like there's little th- gags here and there about right. how he fakes, how exorcisms happen, and then you know obviously the real thing happens. But the problem is that when you set yourself up to be that much of a comedy, I can't take you seriously into the to the realm of this is a, a hell bent thriller horror and right. into the depths of hell. You know I, I can't I can't follow you. You've already established you made me laugh way too much. So it's I'm not going to follow that. And that ending. Is the worst ending I've ever seen in a film in a good five years. But but for me, that ending was fitting because I thought all of it was terrible. <laughs> now, when you say that it's trying to be funny, I will grant you that. Yeah. But I thought it was so mean-spirited and smug about the way it went after uh, fundamentalist Christians and, and, and the Deep South. It completely took me out of the movie. And when you say the divergent tone is... Uh, this movie goes from a uh, mockumentary to possession thriller so fast, and the possession aspects are not even the slightest bit no. scary. Go, go. You should be compelled to leave this girl. If I beseech our Lord, he may be in the wilds of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command me to be gone! When I bring up Blair Witch Project, this film wants to be that, it wants to be The Exorcist, it wants to be uh, Rosemary's Baby, and wow, does it want to be Blair Witch Project. I mean, (laughs) spoiler alert, this film ends on a note that makes me want to contact uh, Myrick and Sanchez and tell them, you may have a lawsuit on your hands. I mean, it's it's just a shameful ripoff with to a large degree for me, painfully bad performances. And uh, again, it just felt so mean-spirited and smug. I, if the filmmakers had been standing outside of the lobby, I think I might have throttled them. I gave Probably. this gave this film one star, <laughs> and that is charitable. See, I, I gave it one and a half because it made me laugh, not because it's a good horror film. Yeah, it's, it's a terrible horror film with a Scooby-Doo ending. 